Welcome back to Triple R. Today we have a Batman Big Figs action figure. At least I think it's from that line. I'm pretty sure it is. It's 19 inch. It's a little bit taller than the Superman I have because of the, the cow ears, the bad ears. So I got this at a thrift store. Kind of beat up as you can see. Got a lot of scratches and like little red marks on it everywhere. So I'm going to try to wipe it down. First I use this like a Clorox wipe just to kind of sanitize it. It has a lot of scratches on the um, forehead here. As you can really notice that I kind of kind of sucked. The back is fine. Cape is so so. So I paid 11 bucks for it. They're usually like when they came out, they were 20, I think. 20, maybe 30, I think 20. Um, they were at like big lots and stuff like that. Probably should have picked them up, but I only picked up like Superman. And now they're gone, so I don't think they make them anymore. You can get them on eBay. I saw this, grabbed it, even though it was a little scratched up. I think in the, from a distance, it'll look good. So we're going to clean it up a little bit here, see what we can do. Has a little more detail than the Superman. Like with the gloves here, you got the lines, the belt. I haven't seen this exact model on eBay. I see a uh, black and yellow one has the circle emblem versus the big bat across the chest there. So I still haven't seen this one, but usually they're all over the place on price. It's like ridiculous over 100 to like 40 bucks. But they're pretty cool. Oversized action figures, probably my favorite to collect <coughs> to display. They're very easy. You set them up, they stand well, they look good from a distance know who they are instantly so it wasn't in horrible shape just the, the markings here that's a little gold paint on the back of the leg so I'm not sure it's only a piece of gold paint on the action figure so a little bit of elbow grease get all this stuff off some of it came off a lot of it stayed so. but this did come off I use my fingernail. Don't want to scratch it, but even a scratch with being a black action figure wouldn't look too bad from a distance. But still, of course, you don't want to scratch it. it looks pretty decent. Uh, these don't have really hardly any articulation. The legs move from the hip, and the arms move from the shoulder. And that's about it. Now uh, the head does turn, so that's nice. So a lot of those red markings um, still kind of visible. So I was like, well, I'll take this dry erase marker first, kind of like touch it up with little um, black lines. Use a dry erase first, that way, in case it didn't work at all, I can just wipe it off really quick. And it came out okay. So the chest part I'm not as worried about, but the forehead I think is very noticeable. You can see all the white marks. And there's some coloring on the um, bat symbol here. I couldn't really get off. I tried pressing pretty hard. It's, it's pretty in there. I guess you can maybe get a yellow marker. I don't know. Or maybe some touch-up paint if you really wanted to. But 11 bucks, I'm not going to probably invest that much time. I did want to try to fix this um, face piece. He has a little mark on the chin there, which is kind of hard to get off. I think it's just going to be there. So, yeah, it didn't really come off. I think maybe a little bit of it did. Maybe, maybe not. Not too noticeable. But well, the face itself looks good. It's a good looking axe figure. The cape is long, hits the ground. Which I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Uh, the Superman cape, of course, is shorter. Yeah, it didn't come off. Alright, the back is fine. Gonna use the cape. Alright. Let's see if we can fix this forehead on Batman here. Get a dry erase marker. Again, use dry erase because you can just wipe it off if it doesn't work or doesn't you don't like don't like how it looks. If you do, maybe get a permanent black marker and you can fill it in. So you can see it kind of looks like a it looks like a wet marker, which kind of sucks. But I think it looks better. Then the white pieces showing through. So we're gonna touch up all this stuff. I'm gonna square it out a little bit. Because if you want to do, you can mark over the entire um, mask, but it won't match the rest of the uh, 
the bat suit. Again, there's a lot of light on this one right now, so in like regular room light, you're probably not going to notice these marks at all. And the, the wetness in the marker is going to dry out a little bit, so it won't look too bad. See, when you set it down, you can barely notice, but I could notice those white marks. Do some size comparison here. I uh, got an Overwatch action figure. I think they're six inch. So we'll set it side by side here so you can see <laughs> how big these action figures are. Which, I, like I said, I really do like these. And I may bite the bullet and pay some money to get, to get the Wonder Woman. They had Wonder Woman, Flash, Bats, and Superman. And maybe an Aquaman. For some reason, I want to say there was an Aquaman. I'm not sure. So now let's take a baby wipe, make it kind of shiny, get all the excess off. Let's accidentally wipe some of the. <laughs> So I'm going to mark her off. Doing a quick size comparison of the, uh, I think it's a 12 inch or 10 inch Superman from the DC line. So grab him, put him side by side so you can see again the, uh, the size of this big figs action figure. I do like the way these look though. And I think uh, the marker helped. You mark the chest out a little bit. And uh, it looks a lot better now to me. So there's the Superman from the DC. I think it's the 10 inch series. Might be 12. Might be a 12 inch Superman. I'm not sure. Either way, you can see. Alright. So here we have it all cleaned up. Get rid of Superman here. And we're going to set him up, display him. I think pretty much just like this. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you.